Welcome back YouTube, beer day number 275, it's come off the dreaded old dog watch, or night shift, you know when you're that tired, um, feel like you want to spew, or when you move your head like that the whole fucking room goes dizzy, that's sort of like what I feel like when you've had too much to drink, but I've got a beer to fucking drink, just one beer, and it's imported Tusca. And it's from Kenya, mate. So we've got a Kenya Kenyan beer, just enough to wash the coal out of me, out of me lungs, or f further down into me bloody never, never. But it's uh, how many percent? It's four point two percent, and it's uh, one point two standard drinks. What's it got on the front here? It's got a picture of an elephant, right? Finest quality lager, brewed and bottled by East African Breweries Limited. P.O. Box. Fucking, that's a big number. 30161-00100. Nairobi, Kenya. So, winner of gold medal award in the international mod selection. I don't know when that was, but... Yeah, uh, Tuscalaga has been brewed in East Africa since 1922, named after the elephant that killed George Hurst, one of the brewery's founders. Tusca claims that the special, it's really small writing, Beatridge of being one of the first beers in East Africa over the years, this unique lager has come from part of East Africa, Rich's traditional Tusker, and is brewed with high quality malt made from equal barley grown at the base of Mount Kenya. Yeah. Right, eh? There's on something about springs, but I'll be there all day reading that. Oh. My death is a twist top. It's in a big, it's in a, like a, not a, like a craft beer. It's actually in a standard stubby size. So I think it's 355 mil. It smells like a lager. It smells quite fruity. I'm um, picking up a little bit of passion fruit there, but it smells um, a bit bitter too, like a, your standard lager. Wow, it's got a lemon grass taste to it. It's very clean um, and and light mouthfeel. It's not. It is a little bit crisp, but it leaves you with a really um, refreshing mouthfeel and a definite um, uh, passion fruit you get in there, or like the taste straight on your on your taste buds. And it's not really bitter at all. Picking up a little bit of lemon grass as well. It's definitely, it's a lager beer, but it's um, it's a session beer as well. It's probably one of the finer uh, lager beers that I've come across. Now, it won, obviously it won on a bloody a winner of an award. Um, it's not like your standard lager that you find in Australia, like your Tui's and your bloody, um, oh, like your VB's and your golds and all that this has actually got character it's got flavor it's got um yeah it's got like the passion fruit the lemongrass um it's actually quite nice and i think it was the cheapest beer i bought all week actually let's pour it in the in the schooner glass So little to no head, there's no sediment down the bottom of the beer. African brewed with high malt and see it's barley as well now. It's more like a um I wouldn't say it tastes anything like um Budweiser, but it's similar awards down the same same line, yeah. So if you see that and you're over there in Africa, East Africa, 
or here in Australia, just grab it because that's pretty, I'm, I'm quite surprised about that. I don't think it'll taste, taste that bloody well, but that's good. I'm going to give that a four, four out of five. Quite good. All the way from Kenya. Anyhow, be kind to one another. This has been beer day number 275. And yeah, I'll catch us back here tomorrow sometime, maybe in the morning for another breakfast beer, depending on how tired I am. But I'm going to go sleep like a log. Right up. And uh, yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Support the craft beer. Even this. I don't know if no, this is craft beer, but local craft beer. Take it easy, people. See us.